everyone, Chris Turnett here for Card Player TV to give you an update on the 2009 World Series of Poker. We've got two more bracelet winners, and the first is Vitaly Lunkin, who won event number two, the $40,000 buy-in Nolan Oldham Tournament. 201 players started, and that generated a prize pool of $7.7 .7 million. He took home just under $1.9 million for his win. We caught up with him during his bracelet ceremony. Vitaly, to start out with a win, how does it feel to to triumph it over such an amazing field. Что ты сейчас ощущаешь, взрыв выиграв такой самый сложный браслет? Он действительно был очень тяжелый, тяжелое было соревнование. Я, в принципе, доволен своей игрой. Я ощущаю сейчас не только усталость, но и огромную радость. Yes, it was very difficult for me to win this bracelet, and right now I feel not only as a tired and exhausted person, but also I feel very great. It's your second bracelet, and with the accomplishments of Ivan Demidov and Alex Kravchenko, do you feel like you are becoming an ambassador for Russia's poker? должны ребята дать оценку со стороны игроки, потому что свои ощущения одно, когда группа игроков оценивает, это уже результат более правильный, как бы. I wouldn't say so. I cannot judge myself from this point of view. I think that my uh, fellows, my friends, should tell me whether I'm a good poker player or not. Okay, now heads up, you're playing against Isaac Haxton, and you chose to slope play aces twice. And one time it backfired, but you still chose to go ahead and slow play them again the second time. Was your general strategy against Isaac to let him be the aggressor and to take the chips when you got hands? Да, Азик очень сильный игрок, он один из лучших в хедзапе, и я тоже очень хорошо играю в хедзап. Но э, поначалу я его смог э, подай, подавить, вернуть, э, выйти в лидер, но потом он меня стал переигрывать, пришлось поменять тактику. И с тузами э, было оптимально про слоу плей. Если десятками я играл агрессивно, то тузы были достаточно, он, он готов был выставиться на весь тег, со сам первый, и, и поэтому ну, нельзя было рассекречивать ру руку. Uh, Isaac is a very strong player, especially in heads up, but I'm also a strong player in heads up. And during the first part of the final table of heads up, I feel that I need to change something, and that's why I decided to play in this way, just to find out the way how to battle Isaac. Thank you so much. It's a great start to your 2009 World Series of Poker. Event number three was a $1,500 buy-in Omaha 8 or Better tournament. It attracted 918 players, generating a prize pool of $1.2 million. To first place was $263,000, and that winner is Thang Lu. He successfully defended his title as he is 2008's winner, and he also finished second in 2007. We talked about his amazing feat at his bracelet ceremony. You placed second in this event in 2007 won it last year in 2008, and you are the winner again. Yeah. Now you enter the final table, first in chips. How did you accumulate such a stack? Well, I tried to, uh, on the final table, I always try to play right, and you know, can't be make any mistake on the final table because there's a limit going high. You don't mistake on the final table. That's why I try to spin. Right? A little birdie told me that you predicted on day two that you were going to go back to back and win. Is this true? Yes. Because I feel more confident because on day two, I have a chip leader, and then I got second chip leader, like I got most of the chips, so I said, I'm not going to win this. So, you know, I feel more confident when I got more chip. How was the field in this event? I heard that there were a lot of weak players who didn't even know if they had a low or not. Is it true? I saw like a couple weak players in the, in the table, so I mean, I said couple, and they got chip. So I like it when I, on, the, on that way, I said myself, I said, I got a good chance because this one I can beat. Okay. Now tell me a little bit about yourself, what your poker experience is, and how you got so good at Omaha 8 or better. Um, I had to play every day. Play every day? Where do you play? Play every day. Bellagio. Bellagio? Okay. Yeah, play cash Bellagio, games. play cash game, two for mixed game, so, you know, three, six, something like that. All right. Well, thank you so much and congratulations. Thank you. Event number four, the $1,000 buy-in Nolan Maholdum event, attracted more players than the Rio could accommodate as it sold out a day before the tournament started. The day 1A and day 1B fields combined made a total of 6,012 players. The surviving players combined today for day two, and there are 600 players left at the time of this filming who are all competing for that first place prize of $770,000. 
The only events that are starting today are event number five and six, which is the $1,500 buy-in Palem Omaha Tournament and the $10,000 buy-in World Championship Semi-Card Stud Event. I'm Chris Arnett for Card Player TV.